Okay, I'm going to tie a fly um, that I've been messing around with lately. And because it uses hen hackle or Coq de Leon hen hackle, I'm going to call it the twitchy chicken. Anyway, it's a real simple fly. It looks cool. It has great action in the water. Uh, first thing I did, I have my hook in the vise with, I believe, a 4 millimeter tungsten bead. I've got some 025 lead, and I'm just going to wrap, I think, nine uh, nine wraps of lead and so instead of pushing the bead all the way to the eye I'm gonna back that off just a little bit because I'm gonna wrap a soft hackle in front of the bead so the easiest way that I found to seat your bead there is just take a little bit of thread and wrap it over the bead and then back over the bead again So once I've got the bead placed like that, I mean, you'll see some thread wraps there, it doesn't necessarily matter. I'm going to take some really thin super glue, um, any super glue will work, but I've been using this thin stuff lately. I'm just kind of dab it in there, just a tiny bit will work. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way to the back of the fly, and I'm going to want the biop tails to to splay out, so I'm going to use a ball of dubbing to help splay those out. So I've got some Wapsie South Scud dubbing in tan, and I'll just build that up. It's important that this ball is pretty dense, that way the, the biots will be able to butt up against it. So I've just got a little ball there. And so instead of tying the biots in right now, I'm just going to tie in a piece of wire. And I'm, I'm using UTC wire, it's small size in amber. And as I wrap that back, I'm going to want to wrap it all the way up against the, the ball of dubbing. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to form a body of dubbing all the way up to the bead. Alright, so not the most smooth body, it's alright. Um, but I left a tiny little bit of room be behind the bead, and that's where I'm going to actually attach the, the biots. So I just have like some rusty brown colored turkey biots. Turkey biots work best for this because they're longer. And so as I place these, I'm going to place them so that they're, you know, the tail is about three quarters of the length of the body. So, and the biot's going to lay all, all along the side of the, the fly. When I have those biots tied in, they should look about like this. So they're coming off kind of on the top of the fly, not necessarily along the sides. And as we pull those down, they'll kind of take a, a shape along the, the side of the, the fly with the wire. Anyway. I'll just trim those off. Okay, now what I'm going to do is as I wrap the wire forward, I'm going to trap the biots back here by the ball of dubbing and it should splay them out. And as you'll see, as I wrap forward, I'm going to do two wraps of, of wire right side by side to really lock those in. And then I'll segment the body up. It's kind of hard to see because I've got to pinch the fly to, to get the, the biots to lay right. Once I have them in place though, I'll pinch them with my left hand. And make two touching turns of wire. So you can see, it's kind of splayed those out. This one doesn't want to splay out as well. 
There we go. All right. So once I've done that, I'm just going to take the wire and make a segmentation all the way up the fly. Okay, at this point you could add like another color to cover up the thread wraps to add a hot spot. Um, but I'm just going to use tan. Just kind of build up a little bit of dubbing to cover it up. Okay, so essentially the, the body and the tails are done. I'm going to take my thread to the, to the head of the fly and tie in a soft tackle. Now these Whiting Coq de Leon soft tackle saddles are really cost effective, but you can see they're, they're very webby and there are a lot of barbs there, so they move really well in the water. Now for this feather I'm going to, I'm going to pull off the fluff and I'm going to tie it in tip first. All right, I've made my feather look like that and right at uh, this little point here is where I'm going to tie it into the fly. Okay, it's ready to wrap and really I mean you can you can preen the fibers back and make them lay back and I try to do that as best I can but the fact of the matter is there will be some escapees that you'll be able just to trap back with the thread when you're done. So we've got some escapees, some stragglers. We're just going to take all those and fold them back. And you should be able to get a really small head on this fly. That's the twitchy chicken, really simple stonefly pattern that you can tie in a wide array of different colors.